everyone welcome back to my channel as you know my name is Tere and today I'm going to be reacting to Slater's new album Troubled Paradise now I have done several of the singles on this channel I stopped after a while just because I didn't want to listen to the entire album yet um as you all know uh, I put on my community story if you aren't subscribed subscribe I put on my community story that I was putting up lights today I'm a short bitch I was losing oxygen trying to hang these lights up because I'm short as hell but I did hang them up do we should we do a pink I feel like we should do a pink yeah a pink there we go y'all see it on the top I hope you all like them as well all right let's get into this reaction shall we first track That just blew my mind. She was revving up for that. Revving it. Oh! Oh! Fuck if I let a man get what he wants! Ah! Jesus! and 15 seconds that killed me in a good way oh my lord one of my favorites one of my favorites a strong contender for my favorite song on the album if you would have asked me from the singles if i would have thought that was going to be an opening track on this album i would have been like no no but like damn A feature for that kid on this track I just oh I feel like both of them together would oh it's causing me goosebumps oh lord oh did she just say to return her <laughs> I did not think going into this album that it was gonna have this vibe but I'm so glad she didn't lose us uh, the Slater sound like she had in her last album thank you she just upgraded it oh my lord I love this track If I do not get a feature, that kid, I feel like the remix of that with that kid would send me through the roof. I would die. Ooh, ooh, it is so good. I'm so glad she's like left all of these like really smooth kind of singles just because of what i've heard with troubled um paradise and uh clouds um she started out with those singles i would have never guessed that she would carry on with the old sound but just begin the album this way oh my god venom hearted put it in my library throat <laughs> Really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> they get me demonetized. Oh, I swear to God. 
so nasty but then you have the electronics in there and it just it's so much it's playful and i just like oh. i feel like i came into the wrong room <laughs> that song is about sucking dick <laughs> let me swallow your kids <laughs> why do I feel like Charlie XCX would also be really good with like uh, the production of this track as well. Oh my lord. I'm not really feeling Doghouse yet. That being said, I'm still gonna listen to it. Yes. Remind your girl she can Google my ass. <laughs> The repetition of Doghouse. I get easily bored with songs that repeat itself. That being said, towards the end of the song, I actually really enjoyed it. It's not my favorite, and I think I need to listen to it a couple more times to actually like uh, appreciate it more. But I could also see this in like a trailer of a movie or something like that about like popular chicks in high school or something like. Like, it's not bad. I just think I need to listen to it a couple more times to actually, like, get into it. But, um, yeah, it wasn't bad. It's just not my favorite. But I am going to sell hard it and put them all over. <laughs> Ever made you so miserable? Woo! Stop again. Do you think you're cool? Do you think I care? Do you think your life is just so unfair? Started liking, I think, the intro more when she actually started saying something. I think, like, the beat in the beginning was a little bit too long for me, but uh, once she actually started saying things, I actually would gravitate it toward it a lot more um interesting setup for troubled paradise um but i love that song um i'm gonna heart butterflies put it in my library maybe i just need to listen to it a couple more times but i definitely think it's it set up maybe not as perfect as i wanted it for trouble paradise but it definitely set up for trouble paradise to play um next track P trouble paradise uh i'm going to uh briefly cut this up because i love this song uh if you haven't seen my reaction to it i will put it up there so you can go watch it but ooh, i love this song <laughs> I 
do love how in this single she is using a lot of her voice and that's maybe something I didn't hear uh, in the first couple tracks of this album. Um, I, I think she has a beautiful voice and when she actually uses it and doesn't let the, like, the beat kind of carry it, um, like those long notes in this, oh, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous if you guys hear a dog it's my neighbor i don't know why they're barking right now but like shoot <laughs> Love that song. Love that song. Hearted it. It's already in my library. You guys know this. Let's go to Clouds. I will briefly cut this one up because if you haven't seen my reaction to For Clouds, go watch it. I love that song. I love that song so much. And they're so different from the beginning of this album. I'm so surprised as in this like contrast. But I feel like this album started with such like bad bitch vibes. That towards butterflies, trouble paradise, and then clouds. She's definitely talking about how there's some turbulence in the relationship. E. Are we gonna make our way out of it? I have no idea. Um, Y'all already know Clouds is uh, in my library as well. Um, Cowboys, I have not heard the single, so I'm excited to listen to it. Everybody wanted me to, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait to the album. Wait to the album. <laughs> difference my lord what <laughs> are we on the same album that we started off at? what this electric guitar sounds amazing oh <laughs> there is a lot there is a lot going on in this track and I don't know if I like it all that much. Oh, man. Ooh, this part is gorgeous. Oh. I don't know if this song just needs to grow on me a little bit more. But I don't like how the guitar is mixing with the kind of electronic that's happening i don't i don't feel like it's a great mix every single time i try to like beat on beat i'm not on beat and i'm like is that a me thing or is that a you thing like i'm i don't know how i feel about this song <laughs> growing on me a little bit more. It's growing. And that didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I don't like it. I don't like, it. I don't like it. Just the chorus was just the chorus and it didn't have any of these extra things in it. I feel like it would have been a really good chorus if it didn't have all these extra things in it. Hard. I just count like the extra stuff in the course. Mm -mm. Ooh, that run. Wow. Ooh, I see you. I see you. Like that just that almost saves the song for me. When she does these runs, it actually extends her voice. Oh my lord. Uh. Okay, so don't fuck with her. I get it. I 
I don't hate the song. Do I like the song? I wish I could phone a friend and ask. It would have been beautiful if literally the chorus just had the chorus and not this extra stuff in it. I just feel like it was distracting from the message you were trying to send. Um, the only reason I got this message was at the end of the song when I could actually hear you. So like, I'm not gonna heart it. Oh, Jesus. I just, I it doesn't sit right with me production wise it just doesn't it's not something i would like to listen to again y'all love me right well you love me Ooh, i don't like it either did kim petrus just enter the chat excuse me Mm. Yes, my heart and my titties enjoy this. Ooh. I'm to to even, even the beat. Oh. My light fell. <laughs> Did y'all see that? My ring light. It fell. <laughs> Is that I'm giving up on you and I'm like I know please don't I'm sorry don't leave me Somebody's in there doing the piano, like that's all I feel. <laughs> Damn, I thought she was the serial killer, but he turns out he's the serial killer. Girl, you better run. Why do I oddly want the the Count from Sesame Street to play this song? I don't know why. It's got in my head. Interesting. I really like the vibe of that song. Oh, if you're going to talk about serial killer, it should have those serial kind of killer vibes. And it really brought that out with the piano. Oh, Lord. Um, girl, run. Girl, run. I love how the, the there was like a, it sounded like a recording. And I really like that aspect of it because like for a serial killer you know they do they broadcast for like missing people and things like that can i also express how i love songs where i can actually hear her like i love like, I understand the electronics and things like that, and you want to actually get those in. But, like, I love when I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> Meant to be. I'm sorry to say I don't agree. Ah. Oh. Love this track. Ooh, I'm getting Avril Lavigne vibes from this. Like, oh, girl. Oh, that is definitely 
definitely getting a heart going in my library. That chorus. I'm over this. I love that song. I love that song. Ooh, I want it on repeat. I want to listen to it again, but I gotta keep going. I hate the auto tune on her voice. She could have, she could have sang this, and it would have been ten times more impactful. <sighs> Shit. So much stuff going on in this track that does not need to be there and I feel like literally she just used her own voice more in this it would have been ten times more impactful you can have all the electronics there I wish she would have maybe left it for the end of the song and like draw it out for a little bit and like let us actually hear you like oh, I just oh I'm so bothered by this <laughs> listen to the song acoustically I feel like she would sing it so much better I have no idea what the hell she's saying like I, I, I really don't and I have no interest of looking up the lyrics and finding out what the hell she's saying because easily it could be inter like it could be heard heard but she's just using a lot of that and I don't understand why you have a beautiful voice why not use it? This could have been a beautiful ballad that you mixed at the end. And it would have been like a really shocker for everybody because we would have been like, oh my god, she's actually like normalizing a little bit. And then like, psh, no, it's later still. Like, I feel like this had the potential to be really, really good. And then like, I'm so underwhelmed right now. of it i'm skipping to the next song it is not going in my library it's not getting a heart from me i feel like maybe live that song would have been completely different but to put that on your album i understand it's in the slater category of electronic music and things like that and making sure it has a lot of synths in it but there was auto-tune where there didn't need to be auto-tune. There was a lot of stuff going on where there didn't need to be a lot of stuff going on. Is it a ballad or is it actually a song? I don't understand. Like, there's there's a lot of, like, misconjoined things happening with that song. And I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, it's not getting a heart from me. It's not going in my library. But I feel like it had the potential to be a very good ballad. And then having all that mix at the end would have kept the Slater sound. But, like... That was so disappointing to me. Oh, God. Not as much. I'll take it.
Oh, oh, I'm so. Hey. Do you understand how much of a difference that makes when you just take everything out and she's just singing? God, I wish she would have did that more. Wow. What a way to end this album. Good God. Uh, if I was going to let anybody listen to this album, I would say you need to listen to Self Destruct, Venom. Do you really need to listen to Throatzilla or do you understand? Throatzilla. <laughs> um. I wouldn't recommend Dog House. I feel like that's just, like I still added it to my library, but I'm not there yet with it. Um, and same with Butterflies, I'm not there yet with it. I still added those two songs to my library, but that's just personally me. But if I was telling anybody to listen to this coming in, Trouble Paradise, Clouds, um, Serial Killer, Over This, Letters. Uh, one of the tracks I did not like, Cowboys. I don't know if that still needs to like make its way for me to like it, but I definitely did not like Villain. I don't know. Keep that far away from me. Let a girl know down in the comment section what were your favorite tracks, uh, what were your least favorite tracks. Let a girl know down in the comment section. And also follow me on my social medias. I post on there. I usually post when I'm uploading and things like that. So follow me on there. Uh, like this video. Subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. And let a girl know. Do you want me to continue kind of in the Slater realm with artists that are like Slater? Let a girl know down below. I would love to hear your feedback. I will you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye!